So I'm gonna make this video talking to you about how I've been working with my dog or just another thing that I've been doing with my dog to build his confidence around other dogs. As you see, we're here in a dog park. Um, and of course, um, I guess before I really get into any specifics of this video, I really need to just uh, really, really stress that I do not encourage you to just take your dog and sort of dump him into a dog park unless you and your dog are both ready for this. I do think that uh, dog parks can be a great place, but I also think there's a lot of dangers and um, you got to really make sure that too, it's a safe environment for your dog, but you also got to be comfortable and in a position that you're willing to take control of the situation, any situation should it arise. So uh, again, cannot, cannot stress enough that the importance of not just, you know, throwing your dog in and letting him sort of figure it out for himself, I think. And, and listen, maybe it depends on the dog and the situation and stuff. I know it's not something that I would ever recommend uh, with my dog. So my dog, uh, as you might have seen some of my other videos, he's a little bit nervous around other dogs, especially when we're on leash. She likes to bark and sort of lunge. And we've been really working extensively on this the last several months with a lot of uh, success. We're certainly not perfect and still lots of work to do on it. But point is, we've been making progress and progress is all I really sort of care about at the end of the day. So in addition to um, on leash practicing, and I have a couple of other videos where I've posted about the techniques and the methods I uh, use when I do that. Uh, other things I've been doing is I've been arranging sort of one-on-one -on -one play sessions with my dog and another dog off leash um, and just kind of letting him have that positive exposure with other dogs off leash and then actually started adding like a second dog and uh, whatever and so over the last several months we've been doing a lot of practice interacting with other dogs off leash and so now my way of sort of upping that up or taking it up a notch even further is actually coming into uh, the dog park now a few things I want to um, um, kind of point out. Um, even before I bring my dog into the dog park, uh, one of the things I've been doing is I, I like to come during off peak hours, meaning right now it's really early in the morning. As you can see, the park is not very busy. There is about a dozen dogs, but not, not too busy. Certainly not as busy as it gets in this particular park. I've also picked a park that's not too, too small. It's not, you know, it's not the hugest parks, but it has a couple of sort of fenced in areas to kind of go off and do your thing. So it's a medium sized park. It's not too small. Uh, there's a lot of smaller parks that I wouldn't recommend going into. I'd like to give my dog space so that he kind of can, you know, feel like he can get away and do what he needs to and kind of not feel sort of boxed in, I guess. And maybe that doesn't really make any difference, but it's just a preference. And so that's why I'm sharing it. Uh, the other thing is I don't encourage you to bring any treats with you or any sort of smelly kind of kind of stuff with you because that's just going to attract a lot of the other dogs. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make myself kind of blend into the background or on the outskirts. I don't necessarily want the other dogs paying attention to me. Undoubtedly, when I walk around and what you're, what you're going to notice is I'm going to just walk with my dog off leash, but I'm going to walk around the other ed uh, outer edges of the park. And generally what's going to happen, absolutely, there's going to be a handful of dogs that might throughout the whole stay come up to us. But generally you're going to avoid a situation where all of the dogs are going to sort of congregate um, around you. But if you're here, you got to expect and be prepared that other dogs are going to sort of run up to your dog. More importantly, why I like doing this, it also gives Max the ability to check out other dogs. And quite often I find he's the one that ends up approaching um, the other dogs and the cool thing about that is that he does it at his own pace at his own comfort level you know no one's forcing that interaction no one's forcing it he's the one engaging it and that's really uh, that's what I want and that's what I care about right I want him to know other dogs they're not going to pay attention to you you don't need to pay attention to them everything is sort of uh, good so again just going to make myself okay, um, kind of blend into the background so i've come into this little enclosed area where again i'm the only sort of person here another dog came in but this is what i like you see this dog's not paying attention to max max is getting to 
follow him and smell and interact and that's really what it's about um, i find if i stood in the middle of the park all of those other dogs might approach him and i know with max in particular he's kind of nervous around that so by just walking around the outer edges of the park i find that i can successfully somewhat limit that interaction that he has because it's like i said only a handful of dogs that usually one at a time that will kind of come up and check him out so i've quite enjoyed that um other things to uh, pay attention make sure you know if your dog is not ready for this sort of step up and he's whining and he's super super nervous and shaking and stuff like that you know what i might sort of uh, not push it too much and make sure you just kind of slow it down a bit and do it again in smaller smaller chunks so really kind of just figure out your situation another thing that i also look out for is is it a balanced play you know is my dog always the one getting chased or is he sometimes going after people and chasing other dogs um, i like to obviously see this balance so the fact that he's running up to this dog playing and stuff hey how's it going this is wonderful right like he's he's not the one that's always doing the chasing or being chased sorry and so it's that sort of balance that i really really look for and that's important for me um if it's very one-sided and he can't really find a dog to properly interact with i'm just going to leave uh, and kind of remove myself and my dog from that situation um other things as i said when i come in here always always i keep my uh distance very close to my dog so that i can sort of call him away if i need to but more importantly so that i can jump in and take control of the situation should something sort of arise and um, happen so just really sort of um, always always sort of keeping keeping myself clear other things i'll mention is before coming into here um, i scope out the area i check out how how many dogs are here i want to make sure there's not too many i want to make sure that the dogs are playing very nicely with each other so there's no over aggressive play and there's no over physical sort of play and more importantly i also check out the owners do the owners actually seem to be paying attention to their dogs or are they all just kind of off doing their own thing not even looking so for me before i come in really it's got to be the right dogs the right owners the right kind of involvement for me that's a green light i can kind of come in and do what i need to do so here i'm just gonna keep walking uh find if i stand too still my dog can get start getting exciting okay it's okay maxi max go Let me see here i'm not actually now walking through the outer edges i noticed down in the middle here there was just literally one little dog so i'm gonna walk sort of through the middle to get them to chase and play <laughs> boy yeah and this is all fun play hey good boy Hi. Hi. <laughs> 